Hey, folks, Johnston Performance Chainsaw. In this video today, we're going to talk about ignition timing advance, specifically on how much advance are you going to get when you cut your key down? This video is going to teach you how to do the math to figure out if I cut 20 thousandths off of this key, how many degrees is it going to change my timing? So, you need to know a couple things. You need to know the outside diameter of your flywheel. And you need to know one of these diameters of the flywheel taper. I went off the big end, which is 15 millimeters. Or 0.590 large diameter is 4.927 so from that we can figure out how far one degree is on this outside how do we do that? We need to figure out the circumference of this diameter, which is diameter times pi, which equals 15.478627. So from that, that's the circumference we divide the circumference by 360 degrees. That will give us the distance of each degree. Which is this number. We're going to call it 43 thousandths. We need to know this number. So now that we know that number... What we need to do is calculate some triangles. So the diameter, 590, half of that distance from the center to the outside is 295 thousandths. Why do we need to know that? Because when we take we're, I'm just using 20 thousandths as a number that we're going to file off of our key. When we take that 20 thousandths, that's this distance right here. That's the change in the key. It's 20 thousandths. And that is on our hypotenuse of our triangle. We'll look down here. This is a right triangle. The change in our key is here on this triangle. This is our hypotenuse. So from that, what we're going to figure out is this angle right here. We're going to figure out that angle. This angle is the same as this angle. So when we figure out this angle, because we know that this is 295 thousandths and this is 20 thousandths, that'll tell us what this angle is. And from that angle, we know the length of this hypotenuse, which is the radius of this diameter, half the diameter is the radius. 
It's hypotenuse of a triangle because you can see in this diagram why it's not this because it's on an arc. This is not the dimension. This is here. So, now that we know those numbers, half of that is this number here, 2.4635. So, we're going to pull up a handy dandy. You can do this with trigonometry too, but we're going to pull up this handy dandy triangle calculator. So, Never mind what these angles and sides are called because in trigonometry, side C is always referred to as the hypotenuse. If I'm wrong, please throw it in the comments. Call me out on it. I don't care. This is how we're doing it. So... Side B on this is our hypotenuse. So let's let's plug it in. Point two nine five. So this angle here is going to be angle B is ninety degrees. So this distance here is going to be our change in the key, which is going to be side A. We're changing our key 20, whoop, 20 thousandths W, 20, there we go. So that's what we need. We need three things to figure out the rest of this triangle. We'll scroll up to calculate. Bam, there it is, angle. That's what we needed, angle A. 3.877. Let's write some of this down. Change in key. Zero, two, 20 thousandths. So the angle equals three. 0.887. So now we're going to take that angle. We're going to go back to our triangle calculator. Now that was angle A. Let's plug that in there. 3.887. So side B is our hypotenuse. We need the hypotenuse of this triangle now. We need to find this distance right here. Hypotenuse is 2.4635. Side A, we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. So get rid of it. Calculate. 2.4635 is there. All right. Side A is 167 thousandths. So, side A equals 0.167. So, now we'll take that 0.167. We'll pull up a calculator, 0.167 divided by 0 0.043, 043 is how, what's the distance in degrees? How many degrees did it move? Now, this is not exact because it's an arc. 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43. So it's an arc. This is a straight line. It's not 100% accurate. It's going to be off. 
probably a few tenths. A few tenths. Now, someone smarter than me will absolutely know how to do this math. That's not me. This is this is very, very close because we're talking about forty three thousandths goes into one hundred and sixty seven three point eight eight three times. So if you take twenty thousandths off of your key, it is going to change your timing three point eight eight degrees three point eight eight degrees on a flywheel with this diameter with these numbers right here so whatever your flywheel is you can measure you can measure these you're taking the flywheel off to change your timing so you can, you're filing down your key, you got this off. So you'll know exactly how much 20 thousandths off of your key is going to change that number. Now, you can you could do this with any number. Let's, let's cut 30 thousandths off our key. Change in key. 30 thousandths. So well, let's go back to our triangle calculator. Here it is. Side B is our hypotenuse. Point two nine five angle A. We don't know angle A. We know side A is point zero three. Calculate angle A. Let's write that down. Angle equals five point eight three seven. Oh, let's go back to the calculator and plug that in. 5.837. Let's plug in our hypotenuse, which is the half the diameter. 2. What happened here? Let's fix that. Fat fingered it. 5.837. This is 2.4635. Side A, we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Calculate. Let's check our numbers. 2.4635 angle 5.837 gives us side A is A equals and that's A 0.251 so divide 251 by 43 which is 1 degree 0.251 Divided by 0 0.043 gives us 5.837 degrees. So from that, we figured it out two times. We can really figure this out. We took 20 thousandths off of that key. 
the change here is thirty thousandths to twenty thousandths. Let, let's let's check this stuff. Five point eight three seven minus three point eight eight. That gives us a ten thousandth change in key equals one point nine five seven degrees. So let, let's further figure that out. 3.88 divided by 2 gives us what it is in 1 degree. So we're talking uh, tenths, tenths of an inch. 1.94 minus 1.95. Seven, seventeen thousandths. Seventeen thousandths difference between the change in from this one to that one or half of that. And probably because I went three places here and only two places there. But you guys should really get the idea about what we're doing here. And so 10 thousandths off your key is roughly going to change your timing two degrees. So 5 thousandths off your key is going to change it one. So that should help everyone who is doing ignition timing advances on their saw to figure out how much I cut off my key is going to change my timing. Now you can put your saw on the time on the timing light and you can time it and you can see what your stock key's timing is. You can go and cut ten thousandths off your key retime it, put your timing wheel on, and you can you can verify these numbers, and then they come out. So, you got any questions, please leave a comment. You also can email me at johnstonsaw at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.